All right, this is notes 11.3, using laws of logs to solve equations. Okay, on this guy, this is super easy stuff. See, it says right here that the, if I had log base B on everything, or any kind of log with the same base, I can mark them off and it can just leave what's left over. Okay, to kind of make it easier to see, this is a log base 7 and a log base 7. Everything has a log base 7, so I can just scratch them off. And that leaves me 3x plus 5 equals x minus 12. Now it's just basic algebra to solve for x. Move my 8 across, move my 5 across. So that's 3x minus 8x equals a negative 12 minus 5. 3x minus 8x is? Uh, oh, negative 5. Negative 5x equals negative 12 minus 5 is? Negative 17. Negative 17. How do I solve for x? Divide. Divide by negative 5. And you can leave it a fraction that's a positive 17 fifths. If on your project it requires a decimal, remember always go three decimal places. I think oh. most of the project requires three. That was just 3.4. Yeah, it'd be three point. Yeah, yeah, unless it doesn't go three, yeah. Okay. All right, this guy here. They both have a log base two, so I can scratch that part off. What did the three up front mean? Where, how did it get there? Multiple. It's the exponent of what follows. So it goes here, so it's x to the third equals 27. How do I get rid of x to the third? Uh, you... well, let's pretend it was x squared. How would I get rid of x squared? Square, root. Square rooted. So on this one, I'm gonna Square. cube root it. Okay, so when I cube root x to the third, it leaves me x equals, take my calculator, math, and I go down to, that one already has a cube root built in for me, so I'll just use the pre-built one. 27, hit enter, three. three. Okay, too easy. Number three. Everything in the club has a log base 2, so I can go ahead and scratch all the log base 2's off. So that leaves me x on this side. I had a 2 out front, so that tells me it's the exponent of what follows. So that's 3 squared. And it was a plus. What does plus mean with logs when I condense? Multiply. Multiply, so times 5. Oh, so you did the opposite. Yep. Okay. X. What equal? What's 3 squared? Uh, nine. 9 times 5 is? 45. 45. Okay, flip it. Okay, on this guy here, same deal. Everything has a log base 8, so scratchy, scratchy. I have a subtraction, which means what? Divide. Divide. 48 divided by x equals 4. Okay, solving for x, so i got to get rid of the denominator. So I multiply, multiply by x. Okay, cancel. 48 equals 4 times x. 4x. Solving for x, how do I get rid of the 4? Divide. Divide by 4. x would equal? 12. 12. Okay, next one, looking at them all, they all have a log base 7, scratch, 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 I have a plus, so plus means multiply, but then I have subtract, so that means that I also got to divide, so mm -hmm. x times x is x squared, we agree, yep. and then subtract, 3, so that means divided by 3 12. equals 12. We agree? Yes. How do I get rid of the denominator? Multiply. Scratch it off. x squared equals 36. How do I get rid of x squared? Square root. Square root. And we all know the square root of 36 is? 6. 6. 
ain't too bad. Too easy, right? So the next one looks crazy. Nah, it's too easy. Here we go. Okay. First off, I see they all have a log base too, right? Mm -hmm. Scratch, 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 scratch. All right, this guy here is just 2x minus 1 divided by, right, because it's minus, divided by that guy, x plus 5. So far, so good? Mm -hmm. Equals this 1 half, got here by being an exponent for him. And what is 36, 36 to the 1 half power is the same thing as saying what? Square root of 36. <laughs> same thing as square root, right? 1 half is square root. And so if you want to put it as... It's up to you guys. If you don't want to have to remember that, you could have did 36 to the 1 half power. Your calculator knows how to do that. Okay? And then subtract means divide. This 2 got to the front by being an exponent for that 2. So 2 squared. So if I put this in my calculator, 36 to the 1 half power, raised to the 1 half power, it would give me 6. 2x minus 1 over x plus 5 equals 6 over 4. Any guesses on how we're going to solve for x? Y'all remember way back in algebra 1 how you did two fractions that were on the opposite side of the equal sign? How'd you do those? Butterfly thing? Yeah, the butterfly thing. Crisscross, okay, cross multiplication. This one times that one, and that one times that one. Okay, so it'll be 4 times 2x minus 1 equals 6 times x plus 5. 4 times 2x is? 8x. 8x. 4 times negative 1 is? Negative 4. Negative 4 equals 6 times x is 6x. 6 times 5? 30. 30. Move my x is to one side. Regular numbers to the other. 8x minus 6x equals 30 plus 4, right? 8x minus 6x is 2x equals 34. Divide by 2. X equals 17. Good job. On A11.3, you're going to do 1, 4, 6, 9, and 10. Okay? And we will actually do number 10 together. How about that? Go ahead and get it real quick. We'll do it on film. Yeah. Okay, so those guys, and I'll flip back to it. So here we go. Flip to your A11.3. A11.3, Boone. Sorry. A11.3, number 10. Yeah. So we're doing A11.3, number 10 together. All right. Okay, notice that everything doesn't have its own log, so no problem. Move that one across if it comes up. Negative. Minus one or negative one. So I have log base seven x equals three minus one is two. two. So now I gotta convert it. Base stays the base, that's seven to the second power equals x. So x equals 49. 49. Too easy. Again, the numbers that we did for 11.3. Or one, four, six, nine, ten. This concludes notes for eleven three.